Hey there, today we're going to be looking into XR Toolkit's early support for multi-hand interactions. This functionality can be used for interactables that need two hands to operate or complex interactions that we initially put together using multiple interactables. And we're primarily going to be going over the basics of what's been added, I'll have some projects in the future that show more specific use cases. To learn all of this, I've already put together a steering wheel project that I'll make a dedicated video for in the future. In the meantime, let's get into Unity and take a look at this new functionality. If you'd like to give this a try yourself, be sure that you're using Unity 2020. If you're using a later version of Unity, the version of XR Toolkit I'm using won't be available due to some changes in the package manager. The simple explanation is that unstable or early versions of packages are not currently available in Unity 2021. If you're viewing this video in the future, this may not be an issue. Either way, I'm specifically going to be using XR Toolkit version 2.0 preview 0.5 in Unity 2020.3.21. And as you can see here, I already have a project set up using these versions. And before we jump into it, there's also been a few general things that have changed, which we'll be discussing along the way. But first and foremost, the XR rig is now called the XR Origin. It's essentially the same as before and holds the same functionality as it did previously. If we look at the interactable object that I have in the scene and check out the interactable component, you'll see that it now has a select mode. Now don't get too excited. Once we click on it, you'll see that multiple is grayed out. And you may be wondering, why is that? Well, let's refer to the changelog for this. And if we refer to the changelog of this particular version of XR Toolkit, we can see that it's added a select mode property, but more specifically, the multiple option can be disabled in the inspector window by adding can select multiple false to your component script. Ah, okay. We're going to touch on more of this in a bit. First, let's create our own basic interactable to explore a bit. Let's create a new script called custom multi interactable and open it in Visual Studio. We then add the XR Toolkit namespace and make sure it's inheriting from XR Base Interactable. Due to some changes, a lot of variables we use have a different type as well. So let's first look at something familiar. Before we had selecting interactor that was of type XR Base Interactable. And this was going to be the interactor that was selecting this particular interactable. This is now known as first interactor selecting and is of type I XR Select Interactor. We're not going to go into this too much, but XR Toolkit now has interfaces so you can give object interactivity without needing your class to inherit from XR Base Interactable. If you're unsure what any of that meant, don't worry, it's not an essential part of this video and is an addition for more advanced users. However, using this variable will be exactly the same as it was before. We also now have a new list of all the interactors currently selecting an object. This list of I XR Select Interactors is called Interactors Selecting. So if we have some functionality, where we need to factor in multiple hands, we can find those references here. That's about it for the super important parts, but another thing to note is that there are also events for when the first selection begins and the last selection ends. All right, now let's get back into Unity to see what this custom interactable looks like in the inspector. And as you can see, we now have a select mode dropdown and can select the multiple option. And if we test this really quick, it's not really gonna do a whole lot. And this is because it's inheriting from the base interactable. And we can't really tell if it's actually detecting both of our hands. So let's add some quick test functionality to change the object's color based on if we're grabbing it with two hands. This is some pretty straightforward functionality for changing the material of the interactable when a select begins and ends. All we need to do is see how many interactors are selecting the object, then we change the color using this material applier script. Once we grab the object with both of our hands, the object should turn gray. Then once we've deselected completely, it'll turn back to its original color. Then once we get back into Unity and we attach this material player script to our interactable and we test it really quick, once we grab the object with both of our hands, the object should turn gray. Then once we've deselected completely, it'll turn back to its original color. So that's all working as expected. And we've learned that interactable support multiple interactors by default. But if you remember from earlier when we talked about the can select multiple property, we can disable multiple select for an interactable if we want to. So let's try that now. If we go back to our script and add can select multiple and set the value to false, and then we check back into Unity, we'll now see that we can no longer select the multiple option, much like the XR grab interactable from before. And if we look at the grab interactable script real quick, we'll see that it's currently disabling the can select multiple property. And this makes sense since the tracking functionality needs to follow a particular controller. However, I'd like to revisit my two handed weapon project and my bow and arrow to see if I can implement this functionality. And that's about it. Hopefully you found this introduction to multi-hand interactions useful. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to keep a lookout for my future projects using this feature. 
And I think that's it for now. I'll see you all in the next one.